What is going on guys welcome back to another one plus five and 5t video well i don't have a 5t but still this video also makes it for the 5t cause these devices are actually receiving a major update from oneplus like literally just heads up to the oneplus at this point in time when i bought my oneplus 5 it was a hectic experience i wouldn't recommend anyone a oneplus device in future but now i am a proud owner of a oneplus 5 and a oneplus 6 and now this one year old flagship is getting some major upgrades and we are just taking a look at it so first of all a major thing over here the whole ui gets updated well all the apps receive a slight bit of a ui update with some color adjustments and treble support yes this is the same company which said us that treble would be harmful for our hardware and now they are officially giving treble with their latest flagship and their older flagships like literally treble didn't come with android oreo update it didn't even came with android 8.1 oreo update but now with the latest beta that would be hitting like next month as an official update is actually treble supported so yeah i have actually made a video on how to make your oneplus 5 and 5d treble supported well that installation is now out of date cause of the official treble and if you want me to make a video on that please let me know in the comment section below and let's just begin so first of all the home screen basically looks the same as you can see we get the updated launcher shelf is much more smoother as you can see there are no stutters over here which i complete in each and every single update going to the apps Pretty much the same, you get the three dot menu over here, disable history and enable quick search, but there is a hidden menu over here and if you want to access it, just swipe from the left, there you go, hidden space. I mean it was actually added into the earlier betas but I just forgot to show you guys but there you go, here you can hide the apps, pretty nice touch by the Oxygen OS team and then we will just take a look at the apps cause they have been updated as I told you but as I am not a daily user of OnePlus, I don't know what's updated so we will be using my OnePlus 6 to compare it with it. Just a year of a difference and look at the screen sizes like later this is some impressive stuff right here. So let's just first of all go to the phone app and there you go major upgrade right over here as you can see all the buttons above get a slight bit of treatment like the icons are now changed. I mean there are just no borders compared to the stock android one and then you get the speed dial call history and contacts in text rather than just being in icons so looks pretty nice even you have your dialer as before nothing has changed only the buttons pretty nice touch. Also notice how the OnePlus 5 has like a weird frame rate bug. You get some lines. It's not my camera issue. It's just the OnePlus 5 and 5T are weird. But on the 6, so no issues at all. As you can see, the screen looks natural. Then let's just go to the messages app. Again, the colors are a bit updated as you can see. And then again, the button at the bottom has been updated. Then you get the camera. Okay, face beauty is now adjustable right over here. Hmm, pretty nice. Then again, there is no HDR button as you can see as before. I don't know what this is, but I hope this is HDR and HDR auto. Uh, no idea at all of what that is. But then again, you get the flash, auto flash and stuff. All the icons have been updated. Pretty impressive stuff right there. And then again, zoom buttons, swipe up for more options. And then again, all the icons are updated. Now this UI change might take a bit of a time for to get used to, but then again, looks pretty nice and newer. Again, you get Google Lens integration inside the camera app, which is a nice thing. Also available on the Android P of OnePlus 6. Going to the portrait mode. I don't think we get this. Yeah, what I was saying, the background type effect. Yeah, we don't get it on the OnePlus 5. I hope it was getting, but nah. And then let's just go to the gallery. As you can see, gallery again gets a bit of an icon update at the bottom. And then again, you get this three dot menu for more gallery options. I don't know why it's not opening. There you go. About gallery. Nothing useful, but still you get it. Again, going to more apps, clock. Then again, clock is pretty much the same. I thought it changed, but no. You just get minor updates such as the analog clock is no bigger than before as you can see. Again, it has the hour dots right there. Mm, nothing has changed, just the UI has become bigger and easier to see. Then again, we have file manager. They have just expanded the tabs above and then just oxygen and fired the buttons on the top. As you can see, the text looks much more better than before. And then going to the calculator might not be huge update, but as you can see, the slider color is now our equal button over here and then it just gets black. <laughs> and then just scrolling down, you get your normal Google apps, the phone and OnePlus switch. You get now preloaded in Android 8.1. Then the notes app, I hope it's not updated. Oh, what the hell? It looks like MIUI 10. Like literally, MIUI 10's notes app looks like this. And then with the newer betas, you get the newer user feedback app where you can just feedback them about your experience. Pretty nice touch. Then the recorder app just gets the minor upgrades such as bigger buttons and more pronounced icons. Nothing new in this. So let's just now go to the single major app that's remaining is settings. Voila. All the icons have been changed now. As you can see, looks pretty nice, pretty different than before. Oxygen fire would be the best word for it, but let's just go to the display. Device specific features have not been touched as you can see. It's just basically same as before. But if you go to the theme, if you just select any kind of dark or light theme as before, 
if you go to accent colors now you get completely customizable accent colors like literally you can adjust the hue of it then again the brightness of it just amazing to be honest for some people who like to take control of their customization and then again you can also input hex data for your colors like later you can just grab the data from internet and just put in the favorite colors over here which is just amazing if you want to just compare the displays but if you scroll down you still get advanced but advanced has advanced thing and you get utilities which is a thing with android p where advanced and utilities are just basically a same thing but in utilities now you get gaming mode pocket mode one the switch there must be an option for usb storage but that's now still in advanced as you can see there you go otg storage accessibility data and time are over here and looks a bit more pronounced as you can see and about phone auction os beta 13 then again just the normal stuff and june security patch yeah i know it's july but still counts Android 8.1, we are not getting Android P yet for OnePlus 5 and 5T and that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching and if you want a specific travel video, please let me know in the comment section below and I will do it. See you in the next one. Peace.